In this video, we're going to be reviewing the Supco Attic Pro Utility Lift. Now, if you're tuning into this channel for the first time, we normally cover ways on how you can get the best HVAC for your home. I'm an HVAC contractor. We have an HVAC company, but we used this tool the other day and it was literally one of the biggest game-changing tools I've ever seen. And I'm so glad that my employee or one of them suggested, hey, what do you think about trying this out for attic installs? So I'm gonna be doing a breakdown of this tool, how it works, how we used it. And I'm even gonna give you some footage of it in action so you can see how it works. And for anyone watching this who's ever had the experience of doing an attic install, you know that getting equipment, tools, everything in and out of the attic can be a lot of work. This is something that can definitely reduce the workload. And so that's what I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna show you how this thing works. That being said, let's dive in. I'm gonna unbox or pull this out of the bag so you can see all in all what's included. Now this is a brand new one. The one we used in the video footage is actually on another van. But so this one's brand new. This has never been used before. And that's what we're gonna be reviewing in this video but what this is is this is a uh, utility lift that can get you know equipment whether that's primarily we got this for air handlers and furnaces this can get your tools if you have any type of heavy tools or equipment that you want to get in and out of an attic this can do the job this is a manual tool now there's a few tools out there that are electric if you go on amazon or if you check out some of the like electric attic utility winches that are available on the market i prefer the manual one we've used this like i said and in my experience, this is very easy to use. So the way that this works is this actually, when I cut this zip tie, it would basically expand and this will fit the studs and basically brace itself in between the trusses of your roof. And so what you do is you take this and you center it in the trusses or over the attic access hole. So you want it centered so that way, basically this winch piece connects in the very center of the attic access. So that way the center of gravity of it, it's not dragging along one of the edges of the, the attic access, but this actually expands and contracts. So if your studs are 24 on center or 18 on center, it doesn't, regardless of, you know, when the home was built basically this is going to work and connect to those attic trusses and basically these pins as you can see it doesn't just press into the wood but there's a little pin there for security and there's also two holes on each side where you can put a screw through just for added security when you're winching it up and down. Now it also ships with these two straps. What these two straps do is they basically just create a anchor point that you can winch off of. And after using this once, like I said, I'm sold. We're getting, we're ordering several more of these. So that way all the technicians have these in their trucks just because it's a back saver. And in the long run, this prevents you from, you know, slipping and hurting your back once on the job. It's worth its weight in gold. And the reason I like this too is the price point on this for versus an electric, which there's some electrics out there that were actually pretty cheap, but this one was $160, which from my eyes, I love that it's manual just because basically it's one less thing to break. You don't have to worry about the extension cord not reaching, although this normally isn't a problem in an attic because you typically have a GFI outlet in the attic somewhere, or at least an outlet just because you have a furnace or an air handler there. So you're normally supposed to have an at. An outlet doesn't always mean that there's one there, but that being said, the fact that it doesn't matter and this will work anyways without power is awesome. So that being said, check out this footage of it in action so you can see. If you're interested in purchasing one of these, I'm gonna put a link in the description for your convenience to Amazon so you can actually check it out for yourself. But like I said, we had such a good experience using this tool that I wanted to take the time to make a tool review video of it. And if you enjoyed this content, please make sure you smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel and we'll catch you on the next episode.